Bonjour à tous, hello everyone, how are you doing? This weekend we are going to do a very special hike which is one of my favorite in Switzerland. But the final destination is a secret. No, you need to tell me where we are going. We are going to see a bridge. What? We are walking whole day for seeing just a bridge? Yeah, there is also a glacier, a glacial lake, the beautiful mountain path, a mountain hut. But the main attraction is the bridge. But what is so special about the bridge? Well, it's a special bridge, you will see. Surprise! That Ricky has gone a bit far and can't listen to us, let me tell you a bit about our destination. Actually, we are going to Trift Bridge. It's one of the most spectacular pedestrian suspension bridges on Alps. At 100 meter high and 170 meter long, this bridge is poised above the region of Trift Glacier with a spectacular view guaranteed for those who don't fear from the height. Ricky really likes suspension bridge. Well, I guess every kid do. That is why we didn't tell him. We are pretty sure that he is going to be surprised, astonished, and he's gonna like it very much. Now while we walk towards the bridge, a bit logistic detail about the trip. Trips Bridge is a modern suspension bridge only accessible by foot and located in the heart of Barnier Oberland, just next to the once massive Trip Glacier. The bridge can be walked all the way from Godman, where we parked our car, but the initial part of the hike is not that interesting. That is why most of the hikers take that little cable car from the trip bun and then hike from there. We will do the same. We will actually spend one night at Windeg Hut. We wanted to go all the way to Trip Hut, but due to a major avalanche damage, the hut and the route to the hut is closed until further noticed. Now, let's hike. gate for the ships so that they don't get lost roaming around the forest. This is unacceptable guys. If you are coming to the mountain with a can of beer, you should be able to take the empty can back. Who is cleaning these things for you? If this is your attitude, please don't come to the mountain. We are at the junction now, so either we can go to the bridge and then to the hut or we can directly go to the hut. We will actually go to the hut directly because a lot of people passed us so the bridge will be a bit occupied. So we'll go to the hut, keep our stuff and then go to the bridge so that we can get the bridge for ourselves.
chose. All right. This is our nest for tonight. Windeg hut. Finally, we managed to get a reservation in a mountain hut. Though we may not have dinner here tonight, because during the dinner time, we may be at the bridge. But that's okay. We can manage with some sandwiches. Now let us show you the hut. First thing is opening the shoes. Indoor shoes are here. Our room for sleeping is upstairs. So that's our room for tonight. So this is our cozy beds. It's a kind of dormitory system. You know, normally mountain huts don't have private rooms. It's kind of sharing is caring all the mountain lovers in the same place, like a big family of nature lover. Visit to the hut, checked. Lunch, checked. Now time to visit the Trift Bridge. But what bridge? Let's go now, you'll see. As per the locals, it's uh, going to be a one hour easy hike. Now let's see. Before I show you the cinematic sequence of the bridge, a bit about the bridge itself. This bridge is not a very happy news for the nature. People used to go to the Trift Hut by crossing the tongue of the glacier, the tongue of the Trift Glacier. Now with increasing global warming, the glacier started disappearing, so this bridge was built. Initially the bridge was built as a Nepalese normal wooden bridge, but later it became very very popular, so they made this more stronger bridge. But the fact is that this is a very sad news for the nature. The mighty trip glacier is disappearing. And maybe our next generation will not be able to know that there was a big glacier here once. Anyway, Ricky is getting impatient. So let's roll the cinematic sequence of the bridge. That's more or less the highlights of the trip. The bridge was amazing, the atmosphere was amazing. Now we'll go back to our mountain hut and enjoy the night there. And if the weather permits, we'll shoot some night sky as well. Tomorrow morning, we'll say goodbye to mountain and go back to our normal life.
morning. So the weather today morning is not that favorable. In fact, we did not manage to do the Milky Way yesterday or the night sky because it was a very huge thunderstorm. Not something that we did not expect. Uh, the weather forecast was not very good, but we did not expect the rain to come so early. Anyway, yesterday was amazing. We really enjoyed it a lot. And we hope that you also did so. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. That means a lot to us. And if you have not subscribed already, please do so and press that bell icon to get notification of our upcoming videos. So for now, bye bye.